this crap about internet and all these other goofy ass damn things on them, so uh, they don't have the staff, and they took up, they cut back their staffs, the numbers of people that work there, and as a result, they got large, large areas like uh, they'll have three agents uh, in an office, and they'll cover five or six states, and uh, they got to go out and do FCC performance tests on proof of performance tests on broadcast stations and television stations and all that other custom garbage, and. And their first priority is to keep interference down from the public safety frequencies. And amateur radio is way down the list. But now that they're charging for ham licenses again, I believe legally, they're obligated to have to do something. So, yeah, if a guy would write his congressman and start complaining and that because we're not paying for the, for the opportunity to have a ham license again, like we used to, I think they would be obligated to probably do something. Well, I'm going to nominate you to be the the, uh, the chief FCC ham radio officiant, and um, I just hope you don't write me up for being on my uh, easement, cross through my easement on my tower. But uh, someone needs to kick these people in the ass. I'm absolutely sick and tired of this. Okay, W. Well, I wouldn't want the job. It would be a nasty job. <laughs> that is K7GA safe ID, but somebody needs to do it. And there's people paid salaries to do that kind of thing. And uh, uh, I should, I'm sure, and I know they're aware of some of it because there used to be some local guys involved in this. That one of them was up here, up in the mountains. I know where he was that located at. But uh, the FCC didn't want to mess with him too much because uh, he always talks about his guns, and they don't, they don't pack guns there. The agents don't. At least that's not I'm not aware of. But I've been in all their DF and cars, and I've been in their DF and location in DC where everything is fed to and seen it all operate. And it's pretty, pretty fantastic, fantastic like what, what they have. If they wanted to find them guys, it wouldn't take them very long to do it at all. They could do it, do it in, in two nights. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, like 20 years ago on 11 right? Yep. It's really sad, but, uh, you know, they got uh, remote receivers all around the country wired back into D.C. I've been in the office back there and watched them. They have some signals. Pretty fantastic what they can do, and you had to see what they got installed in their vehicles. Well, they can de it from D.C. on, on these, these kind of frequencies here, remote, remotely back in their office, and uh, they can uh, put it on a map within a, probably a block of where it's at. Then they send send out the local vehicle to that area to de it the next day, and uh, I'll guarantee you they can tell you what, what door it is or what corner of the house it's in and which house it is in a matter of minutes. I'm still going to write a letter to the White House and say this guy has to run the show. All you have to do is uh, sign on for two years, clean house, and retire again. Well, uh, I don't think I want to uh, work anymore. I'm getting too old. I remember the guy that used to be in charge of the amateur radio division, me and another hammer in my office one day sitting and cussed him out about something. And I got to knock on my door and look around. And he's standing at the door of my office. I come in and talk about something else. But uh, uh, we've just been talking about him. I guess it was a strange feeling. Okay, you know, I'm going to give you uh, 18 months. I'm going to write a letter to Donald Trump, the new president. I'm going to nominate you. And in 18 months, you're going to clean the entire bands off. There'll be a statue in your name. <laughs> but someone needs to kick some butt here, Noel, and I... Oh, I definitely nominate you for kicking butt. Oh, they, uh, it would be it would be a fun thing to do for a while, but if they get old after a while, you'd have to be careful going out. You'd have to pack a sidearm just to protect yourself all the time. Yeah, you're right. But if they did it right, if they did want to, you know, they, they don't necessarily pack armed weapons. They're special agents, but all they got to do is call the FBI office and tell them they need some manpower behind them. To go along, right along with him, and go out and enforce the law. Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I may make that my campaign mission this next year. <laughs> okay, well, we still got to make sure we get Donald in there first. 
It'll be there. Don't worry about that. Anyway, I'm going to clear out here and go upstairs and uh, get something to drink and uh, probably go to bed and listen to radio for a while and get some shut eye. So, seven threes, you guys, I probably got to go up and help my son do some painting tomorrow. He's got to paint a deck before it's snowing up where he lives. So, seven threes, and we'll catch you guys. Uh, we can catch you guys down down the log there. T zero V O W. And I don't know if I could, what I do with the call sign, the uh, st- station uh, down in uh, on the. Okay, uh, let's see. W zero M L C down there. That's K seven G H C. Gonna clear and go QRD. Gentry K seven G H C K zero B W Q R T box.